Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to our U.S. session. Welcome to Pip Getters. We appreciate you for showing up. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you share. Uh, the yen pairs got a little weak. The yen got strong past couple of days. In case anybody hasn't noticed, the dollar is still fairly strong. Um, Cryptos popped up a little bit and then retraced a little bit. So we're going to look at a couple of those too. All right. Uh, the euro has gotten back weak. The euro is back weak, weak, weak again. And we'll look at that as well too. So stay tuned. Don't move. And we'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. We are here, folks. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, welcome, folks. Welcome. Good morning. We're currently looking at some charts. We're looking at the US yen. Let's go look at some news first and some Forex performance. Let me hit some FX Street for y'all. Hopefully, everybody's faring well. Everybody's enjoyed their weekend. Uh, the euro strengthened up just a little bit against the dollar. So the dollar weakened up just a smidgen. As you can see, the US yen fell a little bit as well too last night. Let's go to FinViz. As you can see, the yen strengthened up a little bit. Okay, we got the yen strengthened up a little bit. Um, The pound weakened up, the CAD weakened up a little bit. The CAD was a strong pair too, weakened up just a little bit as well. OK, if we look at our relative strength, uh, the dollar was still strong. The CAD is still strong, but the yen started to strengthen up last night. I saw that. So I was looking at the Aussie short, Aussie yen short and Euro yen short last night were two things I was looking at. Also, the Euro or Aussie since they were tied. All right. Anybody has any trades they want to take a look at. Also, make sure you hit us. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to comment. All right. So basically, face, based on relative strength, we still have some strength in the dollar and some in the CAD. All right. And we've developed some strength in the yen. Okay. The yen has dropped a little bit. I mean, strengthened up a little bit. We do have uh, Esther in the building. We got Raphael. We got BJ in the building. We also have the lovely Courtney in the building. All, all the pip getters in the building. Welcome, welcome. Looking at some trades that we were uh, taking last night on yen pairs. Um, a couple got away from us. I really was focused mostly on um, 
Euro and Aussie yen. But the uh, last night Asia session, New Zealand yen left from a beautiful zone. And this is just based off the yen getting strong and developing somewhat of a small time frame downtrend. So last night at 84 even area drop base drop also you know we look for friends around here so last night price dropped on all yen pairs new zealand yen that was a good one too new zealand swiss wasn't bad last night again looking for friends uh big four hour candle to the left okay the trend is still up kind of Okay, the trend is still up. We had a a higher low in the previous day. So um wasn't a bad scalp last night, this New Zealand Swiss. I think it's also headed to supply zone right now, but we have too much strength, upward momentum to try and short it. But we'll see what this happens. We'll look to keep an eye on that for this morning. Pound dollar just missed us too last night. That was another trade. Um, it's probably a little off on some of the zones last night. It's not all of them. Some of them are hit and some of them won't. It just happens that way sometimes. Uh, if you go to a smaller time frame, just, 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 just barely missed the pound dollar last night. Uh, was a good trade. The dollar was strong. Okay. So based on dollar strength, we're looking to short dollar pairs again the dollar is the uh, quote currency which would mean it's the second currency in the pair and the pound is the first currency in the pair which would mean that the currency is going to drop okay bj you just called me did you mean to do that Let me know if there's something going on that I don't know about, y'all. Can y'all hear me? All right, everybody's got sound. Maybe he called me by accident and I thought something happened. All right. Uh, just barely missed the pound dollar last night. As you can see, I was just looking at the downward momentum and uh, the strength of the dollar. Okay. So basically, we use relative strength, folks. We use relative strength and we use some quarters theory here. Louis was good. Louis, have you been trading that pound yen? So there was a wick over wick in a one hour. So I was trying to, I guess, get price to come further into the zone. Into this drop base drop here. And it just missed. Again, some fish get on the hook, get in the boat. Some fish take the bait. Some fish make it to the boat and get off right before you get it in the boat. Just like fishing. Uh, pound Aussie. This actually hit, I think. Yes, it actually did hit, I think. On the way down, this did hit. Okay. Pound was getting, uh, was weak as well. Pound cab, basically the cab was strong too, as we can see. So just focus on shorting the pound. Missed a couple trades. Uh, just missed the pound New Zealand as well. And I don't take all these trades, folks. For folks that want to know, I don't take all these trades. Okay? I just take the ones that I probably love the most. By the time price hits the alert, I've already figured that out. Uh, Pound Swiss was a trade that I really liked that I wish I did. Now, this I would have taken, but again, I was focused on yen pairs. A uh, beautiful trade on the Pound Swiss. I try to focus now once I make my mind up at around 6 37 o'clock after I draw my stuff I, I focus on one or two trades and then I just take those win or lose uh previous four hour candle again the pound was weak so weaker okay then the CAD and the yen and the US so and the Swiss Big red candle broke the previous low to the left. See that? Previous four hour candle, previous daily. 
was bearish and this candle broke the low to the left so we got lower highs and lower lows okay lower highs lower lows so who am i to try and not get the third low 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 my job is to get the next low okay not a bad trade um probably one of the best looking wick over wick in a two hour one hour drop base drop and a 45 minute drop base drop beautiful trade i did like that um uh, let's see louis did you take something recently and esther i know we uh me and Raphael talk. I was in the office with BJ yesterday. BJ, did you jump in anything after we left? Did you get in anything, Esther? Just missed a couple of these. On Sunday? On Sunday? Yeah. From up here? You said a short on Sunday? Yeah, 84.600. Okay, up here, you did the same thing as Raphael. You shorted based off of this candle. Yeah. I think, I forgot what Raphael, what trade did, what yen pair did you take Raphael? Uh, pound yen. Yeah, you took the New Zealand yen here and Raphael took the pound yen here. And these broke the lows. So it's like high time frame, ignoring all of this and waiting for this. But just in a higher time frame, it's the same thing. Ignoring all of this kind of and waiting for that. And then you get that. Working on my patience. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Same thing, ignoring all of this and, you know, buying low and selling high. Okay, that's the whole format. That's the whole format. Uh, yeah, a couple of the pound pairs missed us. Pound Aussie just missed too. It's all right. Well, it did work. I just didn't jump in it. The pound New Zealand is what missed a brother with this big four-hour candle here. Yikes. My alert just, uh, sometimes I can just get to, it's this wick over wick right here. What is wrong with me this week? No wick at the back. Uh, this is the demand zone and we have friends. What is wrong with me? I, I need help. Beautiful drop base drop on the pound New Zealand last night. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I expected to come up in here. This is what I wanted, but beautiful monster trade. Monster trade, monster trade. You said you in a pound short? Hit the like button, folks, hit the like button. Pound Swiss. You in a pound yen short? Where are you in a pound yen? Short. Or where were you in the pound yen short? Oops, sorry y'all. Almost went to commercial. Are y'all in the pound yen shorts? Or were y'all in the pound yen shorts? One ninety-two.
Nice, buddy. Yeah, you was up, huh? Nice, buddy. You saw that. Good job, man. There you go. It's not that hard, is it, Louie? Previous day's candle was bearish. We got a downtrend. We also got the yen strong and the pound uh, weak. I just missed it last night, Lou. I should have known better, though. It was just holding. I was like, you're going to come right in here. And it said, all night it did this. I should have known it was going to come up in here, though. I wanted it to hit this wick over wick. Some, ah, just off a little bit. Not every trade last night didn't hit because the Euro Yen hit. The Euro Yen hit and the Aussie Yen hit. So the Aussie Yen hit flush last night and the Euro Yen did. It's just some of the other ones did not. Previous four hour candle on the Euro Yen last night. See this structure right here? Pop, 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 pop. That structure right here. Bing, 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 bing. That right here. And then we had a sell short right here. Y'all see that sell short right there on that line? That's what I was looking at. And right here last night. Bip. This same area. So off of this candle, this high, mash. Uh, good trade though. Euro dollar, what did that do? Euro dollar missed us last night too. There's nothing wanting to jump into the boat last night really. Euro dollar had a beautiful short last night. Um, Again, just missed it. You don't have to tell you don't force it though, people. You don't force it. If it doesn't come to my entry, I do not care. I will not force it. If it leaves without me, so what? There's another bus coming. Always. Euro New Zealand, what did I do on that? Or what did we do? This was a short from the other day, actually, from up here. It's just kept shortening from this. This short right here was before. I tried to probably get it again last night. I think that's what it was. And it never came back. But the other night, this short right here. Perfect. This rally base drop at 65 even. This is a morning trade. Pretty dope. Don't worry, folks. We're going to look at some charts in a second for trades this morning. I saw we were coming to a little demand zone down here. I just marked it off. It's like a weekly low or something. Might look at getting in the Euro pound this morning. <laughs> Looks like it wants to move up. Euro Swiss. I think this might have been trying to be. I don't know. What was this? Was this a long... I don't even know what the heck this was. Maybe hoping price would get back in. I'm not even sure what this is. Actually, this is the Euro Swiss in the previous four hour candle that broke the previous low. That's where it's at right now, currently, as we speak. That might even fall just a little bit. Yeah. Euro Aussie last night did a little flim flam on me. Um, Botched it a little bit. Didn't manage it well. Supposed to be long at 49 to 250 and back down. Um, it's good. And it actually did come to the zone that I was looking. I was looking at this four hour rally base rally. I guess I didn't want to stay up all night and nurse it. But there was uh we was looking at this four hour rally base rally in the office last night. 
It just hit rather late and like double tapped. Probably should have held it. Probably focused a little bit more on it, but I did like this. This is was kind of basic rally base rally. Big green candle broke all the highs to the left. Big green candle. Uh, previous day was bullish. We got a higher low. We got a low. We got a higher low. So the next day we going to try and hold that low. Okay, so last night you're a part of the team that tries to hold this low at 750. Okay, bang. Not a million pips, but still a good trade. Nonetheless, let's see how many pips this is. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Let us know over here at Pip Getters if you have any questions. Your target is 159, 112, 159, 112. Better watch all of this, player. 159, 112. So if you got in here at 163, you're at 162 now. Did you take any profits yet on this, Louie? Or you just think you're going to just get all of this in one shot? Did you take any profits off? Because if you got in at 163, 192, you up 100 pips. I hope you took something off of it. Nah, you did? You know, because sometimes we think we're really good traders or we think we're incredible and you wake up tomorrow be right back in your throat. Are you talking about me? No, Louie. I said Louie. I know you out of your trade, right, Rafael? No, 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 but I'm saying that happened to me. Uh, I'm trying to tell, well, I'll be trying to help people, bro. I'll be trying as much as possible, bro. That's why I'm here. I've been doing this thing for a long time. I know what the feeling's like. Like, oh, snap. Next thing you know, the trade is right back in your mouth. A yeah. hundred pips. Right back yeah. in your face. You went to the bathroom and came back and you like, oh, snap. <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. S smart management. Um, Let's go back. What was that? Swiss yen. Yeah, I didn't look at the EuroCAD. EuroCAD did have a good trade a few days ago, though. Very good trade days ago. Just in these previous four hour candles. I think it was this candle right here. Yeah. This four hour candle right here the other night. 750. Smashing good trade overnight. Euro cat. Uh, I didn't look at it last night though. I didn't know what it was gonna do. But we'll look at it. Um eventually. Cat Swiss. Cat Swiss. Um, I think I was looking at a long last night here. This little doji right here. I didn't love it, though, because I knew the um, cad was up here in some little world that I couldn't trust. It's doing a lot of this basin. So this is the only thing I saw last night on the Swiss cad Swiss. I don't like the cad Swiss, but I like good zones. This broke the high. So, little scout. Nothing crazy. Uh, CAD yen short last night. I knew I knew all the yen pairs were going to drop last night. Uh, CAD yen previous weeks. Three, I should have probably shorted this. It just wasn't as weak as the euro yen or the Aussie yen. Because the euro was so weak and the Aussie was so weak, it made more sense to short the euro yen than the CAD yen. Didn't even make any sense 
to short. Like I always say, if you're going to go long or short, you want to go long on a currency against the weakest currency you can possibly find. If you want to go short, if the yen is strong, you want to go short, but you want to go short on a weak currency. So it drops faster and drops harder. Okay. If you short the yen against the US or the CAD, it might work, but it's not going to work. Like, okay, like the other yen pairs. So this drop last night, we got two lower lows in the daily. One, two, previous day's candle. If you focus on the candle to the left. Okay. Four hour candle. It's much easier to see this when you separate that four hour candle. Okay, so last night, if you saw this, almost just all the yen pairs. If you look at this last night, it looks just like how the pound yen looked up here and the New Zealand yen looked up here. It's just the CAD yen did it last night from up here. Okay. Nice short. I believe this is probably going to keep going down. We probably can short this um, for the. I just don't like all these little moving out. But you can probably short this for the U.S. session this morning. CAD pairs. We'll look at some CAD pairs too, see what they're doing. CAD and U.S. pairs. Aussie dollar, same thing. Beautiful trade from up here. This was last week though. Notice how they look the same. You wait for this. Get that. In a downtrend, you want to wait. Wait as long as possible for all the crap, and then short. On the end trade last night, again, I said this is the trade I was probably most in love with out of all yen pairs. Um, it just had everything aligned. It had broken through this demand zone. This candle broke this low. So last night, previous day's candle was bearish so i got a big red candle and this candle believe it or not i'm walking on it this candle broke this candle low broke that low see that pow pow so when i saw that i was like let me go find me a supply zone in which became this drop base drop so when price came back into it last night that was the jam. Rally base drop. Moving averages was hovering over it like you're not going anywhere, buddy. And drop. I think 40 pips was the first drop. Yeah, 40 pips. First target. Could have just held it for 50 piece if you was tough. Hanging tough. Mark G was good, brother. How you feeling? Randy, what's good, bro? Yo, what up, what up? What's good, brother? Welcome uh, to Pipgets. Welcome, folks. This is the man that created uh, Professor Pip for me. This is the man with the artistic talent. My man Randy behind Professor Pip and the Pip Getters. All the little candy, candle, candle characters you see. My man Randy's responsible for that. I can't draw worth a lick. You feel me? A part of the Pip Getters team. Appreciate it, Randy. Appreciate you. I'm good. I'm good, Mark G. Randy, you been trading anything lately? What you been trading? Man, uh, I ain't doing nothing this week. I've been still looking at it. I've been trying to master the um what you just did. The daily and the fall. Yeah, you got to take them steps. Them steps yeah. down. Up and down, you got to take them steps and, and look across for, you know, relativity and price. But you get there. You better than you were six months ago, a year ago. Yeah. Good job, though. Aussie New Zealand fell, too, as well. Back and forth. Aussie Swiss. Aussie Swiss, I had this little fake zone down in here. I was wanting to see what was going to happen into it. This big candle, this big uh, green candle right here. I wasn't in love with the trade. 
but it kind of looked the same as the Euro Aussie. In a four hour daily, that zone, Euro Aussie in a four hour had this zone here kind of looked the same. So Aussie CAD, was it Aussie CAD? Aussie, Aussie Swiss. Just had this zone here, wasn't sure about it. I did like it because it broke these highs. So if something breaks the highs or lows to the left, I'm looking at it. So this candle broke all the highs to the left. We also have some friends over here, some buyers, some people that like to buy in this area and sell. I just didn't love it, love it. You don't have to take every trade, people. You don't have to take every trade. Bet that. But something I saw um last night, and it was just like, eh, hey, whatever. Getting back into liking Swiss pairs. What is this? You see this candle right here? It broke this stuff to the left. And you got sellers right in here. So it's going to make me look in this candle to find out where the sellers are that blew this low over here. That's what I'm looking for. Then you just got to wait. Wait, wait, wait. If it makes it up there again. US 30, the dirty 30 also fell last night. Um, previous day's candle was bearish on the US 30. And last night I kind of saw this. This candle right here broke that low. This candle right here, this red one, broke that that low. So last night on the US 30. The US 30 works at nighttime too, folks. So it was this short last night. It was a wick over wick in here. And it's five, 10 minutes or something. It's a wick over wick right here that broke this supply, this demand zone. Right in here. You see this? There's a wick over wick in here in a tiny, tiny, tiny time frame. I think a five minute. It's a five minute wick over wick right here. Wow. I saw this last night. I almost threw up. I was like, you sons of a guns. It's a lot of charts to look at, though. But this was beautiful last night on the US 30. Five minute wick over wick that cracked this whole demand zone. Like, get out of here. Crack, 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 crack. And broke the low. Pink. Beautiful move. Sometimes you got to be in things not for the money, but to get good at it, to be good at it, to be great at it. And then the money just slaps you in your face. So sometimes you got to not focus on the money, focus on the craft, the talent, the skill. Focus on the skill and the money comes. See that right there? Bearish candle broke the low. We got lower lows. See that? Bink, bink, bink. Lower lows. Let's try and make another one. A nerd. Bow. I believe the US 30 might continue to drop this money. Oh, no. Hold on a minute. Got something fishy down there. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He broke this right here. This rally base rally. 
This might continue to fall for you U.S. 30 years. Wait a minute. I just don't like this little runt right there. NAS. I don't know what you folks trade, but to me, a chart is a chart, so it just has to look away. Yeah. I wonder if this NAS will go up. Looks bullish. I wouldn't mess with it. It's not affirmed. It's not affirmed. Same thing with the US 30 with this SP, S&P short at the open at nighttime. Same little thing I just showed you on the US 30. I want to data short from here this morning. US oil. Previous day. Beautiful trade. These trades be old as heck. Same thing as the US 30, you know, let that candle break and then come find the zone that got the friends. I do this every week. Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin finally hit the zone. We drew this zone so long ago, it was ridiculous. We drew this zone in June when price was on the way up here for this short and price never got here and fell down to this demand zone and left the zone here and it finally worked. Wow. Over the weekend too, when I have nothing to do, I could have been trading Bitcoin this weekend. This is the zone we drew like when price was here, like almost a month ago, but it's short. I didn't have an alert on it. Price never got here, but then got here this weekend or sometime last week. Drop base drop in Bitcoin. Those for people that day trade Bitcoin, this is not for people that want to buy and hold or whatever Bitcoin for 20 years. This is for people that trade Bitcoin on a daily basis. Okay. Broke the low. Oosh. If you're looking to buy and hold Bitcoin for a while, I think it is almost at that time, though. This does look like it wants to throw a conniption right now. It's create, put it this way, in the weekly, Bitcoin has higher lows right now. See this? One, two, three. This thing could do this this week. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Let's look at a three-day chart. These two higher highs right here. Two-day chart. Oh, buddy. Buddy, buddy. And we broke this high from this low. We broke this high. So we got high, bang. High, bang. High, maybe, bang. For the chart. So uh four day wick over wick if y'all wanted to go look at this zone. It's just looking at charts, folks. Daily. Is this zone down here in Bitcoin? That might be I maybe down in there. What price is this? 19.5. Probably the 19.5 area. Gold. I know we got some gold trade. We had a good short on gold a long time ago. I don't remember where it was. It was somewhere up here. I remember that short on gold one morning. Well, it's even lower than that. We had a short on gold not too long ago. Uh, I forgot where it was, though. Gold is still dropping. This was probably some good trading too last night or earlier this week. Dang. 
4th of July. It looks kind of scratchy right now. Ripple is coming back to my zone. I got a zone in Ripple. This didn't come to it. It's a zone in here in Ripple that I love. Right in that little sweet spot. And price didn't get to it there, but I would think about day trading it if it got here. Just for a few pips. There's a zone in here. And Ripple kind of pump faked it. But it's like right in this low down in here. See these high lows in Ripple? It's going to test this low, not that one. It might not even come back down here, but if it comes in this little secret wick spot down here, I'm on it. But that's y'all that want Ripple. All right, so we went through a few charts. Anything y'all want to look at specifically? Let's look at the pound yen. Yeah, be careful with that, Luke. The retracement killers. Euro dollar is bouncing back down. So what did the Euro Swiss do? So that zone is working from the Euro Swiss. That previous four hour candle drop that broke the low. That's kind of doing the huckle buck right now. Drop base drop broke the low. We got 99 even right here. Not bad. Is anybody looking at anything? Let me know. Or y'all just waiting on me? It's daily chart. For this U.S. Swiss, you're not just going to blow all the way through this chart. There's something in here. <laughs> just don't know where it is. It might actually get all the way back up there. I thought price was going to buckle and hear something. Price just said, no, sir. We are the U.S. Swiss. We are at 500, though. Let's see. Let's look at Finviz. The U.S. is a bit stronger than the Swiss. Pound, yen, wheat, wheat, New Zealand. Mark, what have you looked at lately in the charts? Or have you been looking at anything lately? Maybe the 750 area. Drifting on New Zealand yen, Aussie yen, and pound yen. All shorts, Mark? All shorts, yep. I need to come hang out with y'all for a little bit. I was hoping this don't leave from five. I'd rather it come up a little bit. Which it should offer this. Maybe it'll come up just a smidgen. Mm. 
me see what's the pound is the weakest folks Now, Ozzy, what you looking like? What you looking like? Now, mm -hmm. Ozzy, short. I wanna be This thing looks like it wants to leave red now. This is what I'm watching out for, this little area right here, 500. This little trickery area. You mess around and short that right now, and that'd be right back that way. Kind of want to wait for it to come back into this little area. Off of this little bounce. I do believe it's going to continue though. But yeah, Esther took the short on Sunday. Yeah, because she drew it up. She posted it in Facebook. Esther be giving y'all trades too. Nobody's paying attention. I believe that's going to still fall too. Pound CAD. What's these CAD pairs looking like? What's this New York set? Let's go look at the US CAD. Everybody's already in their trades, so we got to fend for ourselves. This looks so jabby jabby. This looks so jabby jabby. What's the CAD looking like? CAD is looking bad. Do we have any news? Let's make sure we don't have any news coming too. 2 Tuesday morning. All right, so we don't have any news till tonight. So this looks like it's going to keep going north then. What's this? Five. I would believe this would keep going north. It just has to break five first for I would go long. But this does look bullish. I just don't like the way it looks. So go find something that I like. It's doing some consolidations. Let's 
like this short on a New Zealand yen. Not a bad short. While we candle broke the previous low. Kind of the same bounce. Excuse me, people. I yawned it a little bit. Four hour candle previous four hour candle broke the low. Don't just let that slide. Make sure y'all keep an eye on these zones, people. Eight even. Go find some more. I do like these pound New Zealand and pound Aussie shorts. Let's see. Pound Swiss short as well. It gets past this foolery. Pound yen, of course, short still. Yen pairs still short. This is just a slow death right here. This is just a trickle town. Slow death trying to break this. Aussie cat. Looks like Pine might want to retrace for the U.S. session. Yeah, that's, I hate, to, well, I can't say every U.S. session does the same thing. To me, they just boring. I don't find the U.S. session as exciting as the Asia session. To me, anyway. That overnight, that night shift is just incredible. I love the night shift. On the night shift. To me, this is boring. Like, I don't even, you see, this is all nighttime. And we here now doing this. <laughs> this is all nighttime. Now we just like stuck. This might be coming off the ground. Coming off of a daily low. So previous week, it's just testing the low.
We'll see. Folks, make sure you set your alerts on these trades. This is Aussie Doc. US yen. I like the short on the US yen too. Just how far is that short trying to go? I definitely like the US yen short. Was it 750? The U.S. is still strong. Let's not get it twisted. I think we can get down in here. Come on, let's get down. Uh, loose, yeah, Louis, it might uh, retrace for the uh, U.S. session. So here go this U.S. Swiss. That's the thing. You don't know if these currencies is going to turn. This is at 500. This is previous. See, what I was looking at in the U.S. Swiss, this is in a weekly. This is a low, and this is a low, and prices will trace back up here. So I'm still looking for where this might turn around at. You got all of this candle action. You see, I can't find a zone in here. I looked last night. I was like, ain't no zone in here at all. At no time frame is there a zone in it. None. Got this little fake wick over wick right here. Hit the like button, folks. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not liked or subscribed yet. It's that fake wick over wick right there. I don't know if that's it. That might be it, man. Go 500, but I'm not trying to short the U.S. Swiss. Not me. That thing has to turn around. Looks like that might be the spot, though. A little fake five-minute wick over wick. It would be the high of this. Which would be this wick over wick in a 15 minute at 500, which broke this stuff. I'm not sure in the US Swiss. No way. This US yen looks like it want to fall. US CAD also looks like it wants to fall. This is all previous weeks and previous days highs that they keep retesting. But because it's strong, you might just get still slapped in the face. It looks good. Yeah, I'm going to show it. No, not yet. Not the U.S. yen anyway. Okay, kept going. What is this from? Is this a long or short of it? Yeah, this is blue through all of that. Yen pairs, I still like the short on. New Zealand yen is definitely a short. Should have just stayed in this from last night.
supply pound dollar. At least somebody's helping me out in here. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Louie. We got higher low and um higher lows in the four hour in the pound dollar. It is in supply though. See that sell and then turn back and do that. That's a I like five hundred move. I like eight even move. It is in some supply though. I just don't trust this. I think it's gonna blow this. I think it's gonna blow this five minute and keep it moving. Maybe it might come a little. It is in some supply though. Let's see. What's this? Yeah, I just don't believe this is going to be where it drops from, though, Lou. I don't love that. Now, Ozzy, see all this shit turning around. New this little fake ass on down here was going to do something. Nude it. I just don't like that choppy crap. Just didn't look all. I still think it's going to fall, though. What is this, a gap down? Yeah, I don't trust that. So, put one eight, you said one point. One at one eight. You got to write this stuff correctly, Louie. But take your time out and put the dot. One dot eight eight one five. Slow down, man. Write the whole number, dog. What you in a rush for? I hear what you're saying. Make sure. Thanks, B. Jizzle. I appreciate it. Pound New Zealand. Short. Broke through this demand zone. I do like this. This U.S. session sucks. Nothing doing nothing. Coming out that little fake zone. I did see this, though. I can't act like I did. But I still think that's going to drop right through that. Blue. I think we are going to blow right through this zone. I don't, they ain't even got a zone in the two hour. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Maybe 76. I don't know if that does look good, right? I believe that's going to come right back down inside. Keep going down. See, what was that? Found Swiss.
Christian's phone. U.S. Swiss might that might have been the zone. See now that it's got the trend might look like it's trying to change. I still am not sure on that. Sorry. U.S. CAD looks better for a short than that. The one o'clock candle may be it today. U.S. CAD is trying to take a, a split, trying to split. If y'all notice, everything that's in an uptrend can turn right now. That's what I don't like. Everything that's in an uptrend can turn, and everything that's in a downtrend is looking like it's trying to turn, too. So stuff that's in a downtrend. This New Zealand game. Yeah, Lou, this pound dollar ain't wasn't I don't think it's gonna short from where you think so. I think it's gonna keep going. Pound Aussie's leaving that zone. That's the only thing we've been worth looking at. Yeah, these are trades we just gonna have to wait. They're going to retrace this session, and you just got to wait to short them later, probably. Because it looks like anything that dropped last night is like now trying to go up. Euro dollar may drop. That's not bad. Euro dollar trade ain't bad if y'all want to take a trade this morning. This Euro dollar from 500 right here. It's not a bad trade. If y'all want to take this, that's not bad. Previous four hour candle. Yeah, that's not a bad trade right here. It's not incredible, incredible, but it's not bad. Broke the low. Let's see. The dollar's just weak, though, now. It's getting weak. The spread isn't different between the currency pairs. It's like this is not a big negative, and this is not a big positive. Like it's a slow morning, you can tell because it's not negative over 67. This ain't negative, positive over 6. It's kind of almost flat. The dollar looks like it's trying to get a little weak now. How about we take this euro pound long? Maybe. This is even counter trend. I don't want to take nothing counter trend, but everything's kind of like. I believe this euro pound is going to come out of here and go up. It's not just going to break this moving average. It's going to fly this way. It just has that cuffy look. You see, Mark, no. Thank you, Louie. It's not public school, cuz. Why y'all get so lazy? Y'all couldn't have grew up in my time, man. A teacher will pop you over the hand for stuff like that. Just stop being so lazy. What would y'all do if you had to go to the library and all that stuff? It's like in your phone. It's like right here. Your book report's in your phone. People still can't do it. It's crazy. You have to go to a library and sit and wait for hours and go to different libraries because this library didn't have a book. 
Like, you know, the cost of being a nerd in the 80s, in the 90s? What? Carrying every book? My back still hurt. You know, online, you had to carry them books. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> this is before you got a car when you graduated, too. You know, now I graduated, I got a car. <laughs> Back then, you graduated, so what? But still running. <laughs> Those were the days. Terrible, Louis. Get out of that, man. What people don't know is that there's no way you can be successful like that. So the sooner you get out of that, the better. Go, successful people go the long route, the hard route. So if you're the type of person looking for the easy route and everything, don't look for great success, please. If you're always looking for the easy way out, do not look for quick. Don't look for, don't do it. Don't play yourself. It's not made for you because you don't want the long, the hard way. Easy way all the time. Like Roddy Rich. Never took the easy road, yo. Bougie Ramonta. It's not an easy road. This takes work and dedication. This is pain. Blood, sweat, and tears. Exactly. Blood, sweat, and tears. You wish in. It's the U.S. is a, a really. <laughs> I was not going to take a chance on this being the zone, though. I was not. Not on the U.S. pairs. The U.S. is just too strong right now. You have to wait for the U.S. to get a little weaker before I try and short any of this stuff. It's not me. <clears throat> so as y'all can see, looking at the chart, stuff is trying to retrace back into some supply. Like, let's see. The euro pound will come back down to and pop back up one hour chart. Yeah, I was thinking the euro pound might do something, man. Zero. Yeah, it does got that look, right? I don't know if it's this zone or this zone. Let me see. Four, you got 649. It does look somewhat like it would come down here and do something strange for a piece of change. We just have to keep an eye on it. It does look like it, though. You see this right here, Louie? This is why I tell you to take profits, man. Right when it was done, I was like, you sure you're taking This is 100 pips, okay? You can get more than 100 pips, but at 100, 200, 150 pips, price will take a breather on you. In case y'all don't know that price, we'll take a breather on you. You ain't just going, oh, I'm going to go 800 pips nonstop. This is a nonstop train. No. We're going to let some people off this train. Off this bus. They, Euro Swiss wasn't a bad trade. Because of the weakness of the Euro. Previous four-hour candle. Broke the low. It's like everything else is on its way to that. Like, it ain't make it up there yet. Stuff is just sitting right here, chilling. Aussie cat. It's US 30 doing. Going back up. It hit them same little areas. We might should be trading the US 30. <laughs> you might should be trading the US 30. We got a little cuff on the end of high time frame. I still don't trust none of this stuff. It's got a little hook under here though. It's coming off of this zone down here. 
That wasn't a bad trade if you found it. Trash, 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 trash. Trash, 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 trash. This is from last night. It's like stuff is trying to turn, but it's still in the uptrend. See, I don't like none of this stuff. We really tell you the truth. Not this morning. We just gotta wait for stuff to get back up to where you can short it. Man, you Aussie cat didn't. You okay? Didn't want to come all the way up. Oh, there it is. Folks, don't forget to go to our Patreon page. If you want to hang out, trade with us uh, privately in the group, make sure you come through and hit that uh, Patreon page. Hit the link. Also, we have uh, uh, our power page, pipgettersapparel.com. Make sure you slide and check us out. Thank you for stopping by. What was that you was looking at before that you said had a supply zone? That. Yeah, see that pound dollars out of here. I didn't think that was trying to stop no way. You wish you in trash. Maybe this nine eight zone on the US yen on US Swiss. New Zealand CAD just hit this little four hour. It didn't get really up into the sauce of it, but it touched it. Eight even. That was probably the best looking crap trade all morning was this. That I liked anyway. I was it. I don't even see anything else. It's trash. Louis, uh, pound yen is gonna come back down. What's this? The euro dollar is falling finally. Yeah, this wasn't a bad trade, and this wasn't bad either. This and the uh, whatever long that. Was. I forgot what long that was. But the euro, um, see, this was like in the four hour candle that broke the low to the left. Everything else is on its way up here. See this drop, base drop? And the euro is much weaker than the dollar. So that wasn't bad. Euro yen is still dropping. Suck. So Euro Swiss is still that was another good one in the four. This was in this was the first trade we saw actually this morning that was in a four hour candle that broke the four previous low at 99 even. And the euro is all red. So that was definitely a good trade this morning. Seven something this morning though. Folks, I've been working on my rules. I do not force anything, and I usually don't trade outside of my time. So, you know, normally I don't trade during the U.S. session, so. Not that I wouldn't take a trade, but I normally don't. Try and follow my rules. This is she was there. Gold, man. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. XRP might be trying to do this slickery. I like this US yen down in here too. Price gets down here because of the uptrend. 
It's not bad. Excuse me again, folks. Hit the like button if you're watching, if you haven't hit it yet. None of this stuff. New Zealand cat trying to fake leave. This was a four hour nice candle too. It didn't, uh, it kind of broke the low, but it didn't get really up into the, well, I guess it got to the zone. Didn't go small enough time frame. So instead of coming all the way to the top, it came, uh, whatever. There you go. This trade wasn't bad. Probably one of the better trades of them. I really look for this stuff. Look at this, Louie. I told you. Now, I believe it'll still fall, but you know, it's got to give you headaches first. This is so dry this morning. It's like we might as well just keep shorting the euro pass. See what this euro pound might do. It's coming off the four hour high. Two low lows. 750. Yeah, this is about to break. All of that. Just don't know when. Euros are too weak to be buying. I don't trust any euro pairs right now. The euro is the weakest currency. So all shorts on the euros are valid. All shorts on euro pairs are valid. EuroCAD is leaving the previous four hour candle as well. Connor, this candle broke these lows. Other than that, it's really dry today, folks. But good job on your uh, yen shorts, um, Raphael and Esther and um mark good job on your shorts you too louis all y'all did good on y'all yen shorts i didn't have to tell y'all the yens were shorting this week so y'all knew good job on those shorts so folks great job great job great job this is a good trade the other night 17 o'clock basically taking the retest two lower lows on this daily chart Retest of this high. Smash. On the Swiss. I wonder what the cat Swiss is doing. It broke through this zone. Fell. Cat Swiss might fall. Cat. Looks like the cat might try and weaken up. Yeah. Looks like it might try and weaken up. The cat has just been strong so long, it's just gonna take a little while. The cat has been strong for, for a minute. A lot of yen pairs have been strong for a while, so it's just gonna take a while for them to turn. Is that pound dollar dropping? Do, do, do. Let's check. Yeah, it sucks. Came to the bottom of the quadrant. Dang it. I was not sure about it, but I guess it's still strong. Came to the bottom of that thing. Yeah, the US yen is still strong. I'm not sure now. New Zealand can, blah, 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 blah. 
Looks like the euro pound. I don't think so. Uh, this ain't looking good on the euro. The euros are just weak. So it doesn't even make sense to go long. That euro Swiss was it. Um, euro Aussie from last night. It actually popped back up off of this trade. Uh, Swissian doesn't look bad. That looks like it. It'll short later on today. Next day. This will drop tonight. Just got to break this. But it'll drop. I'm looking at the Swiss yen tonight. See what that do. Can't beat yen pairs at the night time. Previous four hour candle on a weak currency or a strong currency. You can't beat it. I thought it was the euro pound. I'm sure. short. Working on my thing somewhere. With, what time this morning you got in? It was like at four in the morning. Um, my time. What time is that? My entry, my entry is at point eight four eight hundred. Yeah, you got in up here, right? Yeah. What was you going to tell us, Esther? I'm, I thought after we were logged in, after the Zoom. Oh, okay, okay. So you were in it before from up here? Yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Good job, Esther. Mark you, you're right, Q. Pound getting some hand. <laughs> yeah, the euro is too weak for me. You know, I'm trying to follow the rules now. You know, I used to be, and it's not like you can't make money without following the rules exact, but to me, I'm just trying to enhance my strategy up to a point where every trade I take is rule-based, you know? And being that the euro is weak, if I follow the rules of my trade, if I follow, if the euro is weak and we follow the rules, this is the previous day's candle. I, right. you know, so it's retesting. If it's a weak currency, it's retesting yesterday's high. So today, retested yesterday's high, and that's the trade that Esther took. She took the retest of yesterday's high of a weak currency. Two lower lows in a four hour. Was it two lower lows in the daily too? No. Well, kind of. Nah, uh, just one. But just the retest of the previous high. Yeah, my entry was on 30 minute chart. 30 minute chart? Okay, not bad. You could have came down here and schmoozed them. And that five minute, right about there. That's probably, what was your entry again? 810? Eight what? Uh, eight four eight. Eight four eight. Eight yeah, eight four eight. Nice. So you did. Nice drop base drop in a five minute. Sweet. Previous days high. Good job. It's almost the same as this. Um, Euro Swiss. Instead of going all the way to the previous days high, they go to the four hour high. And when you see me trading the previous four hour candle, that's what I'm trading the, the four hour high or the four hour low. See, like this four hour high right here. So I'm trading off this high further down or off of a low. So basically, we're trading four hour. And even if you go to the euro pound, this is a four hour high too, though. Lower highs and lower lows, high lows, high highs, all that. Good job, Esther. I love it. Okay. What's this doing? Pound yen is popping back up, huh? All the pound pairs are getting back to it. And watch that trade too, Esther. Make sure you pay attention. Your Aussie came all the way back. Nine even. We had 25 pips already on the Euro. 
Ozzy. Swishing. Yep, that's gonna fall. Dollar yen is falling. I wonder if this dollar gonna weaken up. This US CAD looks like it's ready to drop too. This New Zealand CAD looks like it wants to continue down. See, the New Zealand is weaker than the CAD, so, you know, these are trades you look at. The yens are all strong, beefing up. Look at this pound dollar. Lou, I hope you didn't get in this pound dollar short, brother. And I hope I'll take profits on that um pound yen too. Euro down. This morning is trash. Not trash. They're not all all bad. But like I like this Euro switch short. Euro cat. This is basically the Euro pairs. Basically, the euro pairs because of the weakness. Using what, and see how this isn't such a big gap. That gap isn't so big between the strong and weak pairs. Like, some, nothing's like falling tremendously. This CAD Swiss might get ready to drop too. Y'all see where this CAD Swiss is? All right, so it looks like we're in the middle of, it's like almost where the U.S. Swiss is, in the middle of them two weekly, two lower lows. Try to figure out where you're going to drop. And right now, the CAD Swiss is in this little area right here. That broke all of this. Bloop. See this little drop base drop with no wick at the back? Y'all paying attention? Y'all might want to look at that CAD Swizzy. It's this little drop base drop right here. We'll do that. Just the CAD's been so strong. But it has hit some supply today. Hit it twice. Bink, bink. So y'all make sure y'all keep an eye on this cash switch dropping. Looking like it's trying to drop right now. To four hour. Previous. Four hour candle. Broke the previous lows. We just got the CAD still kind of strong. That's all that is. Swiss is kind of strong too, but that CAD is. The reason why your gas is high. US 30 bounced up from that little zone. It wasn't a bad US 30 trade, especially for a scout. It wasn't bad at all. You had to get up early this morning, huh? It's like if you wasn't up this morning by like five, you wasn't. All right, folks, I'm about to go make me an omelet or something. Trash. Again, folks, every day is not just like real estate. You know, not every day do you show a house, do you sell one? I be trying to help people understand what trading is. You know, it's like that some days. You feel like because you trade, you have to make. I say every time you, you show a house, do you sell one? Oh, real estate agents make money every day? No. It's a lot of professions that people don't make money of you. Teachers go a whole summer and they don't teach. You dig?
Trading is like that. These days you will go to work, open up charts, and you don't make any money. That's what trading is. There's days that you don't want to because you'll end up giving some away instead of making some. Slow down. I had to learn to slow down myself too, folks. Courtney, you still in the building? You learning something? Yes, sir. Remember, take our pictures. Keep, keep your trades so we can look at them. 454. Four. Good trade, Esther, on the Euro pound as well. Good job on all yen shorts, people. All yen shorts. Good job. All right. Keep your focus to a minimal. If you trade the Asia session, you just want to look at yen pairs. Perfect. If you want to trade the U.S. session, just look at U.S. pairs or CAD pairs. Perfect. But just to minimize what you're looking at helps a lot. That's what I'm trying to do. This U.S. CAD is falling. Didn't want to short these U.S. pairs because the U.S. has been so strong lately. So I'm not jumping in front of that movement van. All right, folks. I'm going to get out of here. Maybe we'll come on a night session tonight. Maybe see if we can get a little more action. Don't force it, folks. It's like baseball. Not every pitch is a strike. Don't be swinging that stuff in the dirt. We get paid to be patient. That's right. You get paid to be patient. Some of us forget that sometimes. We think we just paid to turn the computer. I turned on the computer. I should get paid. No. Patience. Patience, 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 patience. I knew that last night too. Oh, boy, oh boy. I don't even want to talk about last night. But anyway. Folks, I appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to stop by our Patreon. Check us out. Stop by our uh, Power page. And also, you can look at previous videos that we have posted. We've got some good trades on a lot of previous videos. Trading is timing. And also, you don't have to trade every day to trade the right way, which we are learning right now. Some days, some weeks, I'm noticing now my week would be over by now. Like, you know, just off of a couple trades. The week would be over. Like off these CAD trades the other night. What's this? When did the 12th? These CAD trades, you could have kind of been done for the week almost. The 10th? When did the weekend? The weekend start on the 10th. So a lot of these CAD pairs you could have traded in a couple of these yen pairs last night. Week over. Euro CAD fell too. And that's just from the CAD being strong. So Sunday, all CAD pairs fell. And last night, yen pairs fell. It could really be done by the night. Okay? So learning not to, you don't have to trade every day. Or after you trade the CAD pairs or the yen pairs last night, you take a day off. Okay? I'm doing a live right now, but if. The yen pairs last night. You think I'd be looking at a chart this morning? Not even, not even close. Okay, I know a lot of times we trade because we want and need money, but dude, that is the last reason why you should be taking a trade because you might end up giving away some money or forcing something that just ain't gonna work. All right, so trade like you don't need the money. Trade smart. Trade the chart, folks. I'm getting up out of here. Y'all have a pleasant day. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you fine folks on Thursday, Thursday evening. All right, so take it light. As always, love somebody other than yourself from Pip Gittis. Thanks, folks, again. Don't forget to stop by our Patreon, and don't forget to stop by our uh, Pip Gittis Apparel page. Thank you, fine folks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>